Hello everyone, and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today it's almost as if we're, I don't know, drifting through the clouds. It's a very peaceful, very tranquil, looking at all these simplistic shapes. Today we're playing a game that's been on my list to play for quite some time. Uh, for several months ago, the, uh, the developers over at Fun Selector Labs Incorporated sent me a copy of their game, Absolute Drift. And it looked amazing, but I didn't have time to get around to it. Today, I'm fixing that. Absolute Drift is a car drifting game, and it's very simplistic, and I haven't played it before. Uh, supposedly, it's also very hard, um, but I'm really, really excited. I'm going to jump into the, the controls here. And just double check. I'm, I'm going to be playing with an Xbox 360 controller. I feel like that's going to help me out a little bit, having the analog stick. But you could use a keyboard if you wanted. Let's see. Accelerate, brake reverse, uh, handbrake, upshift, downshift. I'm I'm hoping that things are going to be, uh, be all right. Also, the default difficulty. Default difficulty is hard. So we'll see uh, how that works out. So instead of doing free roam, maybe I should do a little free roam. Maybe, maybe I'll, I will do a tiny bit of free roam before we, we jump in, just so I can get a feel for the game. Hello, my child. You are here to become a drifting master. Drifting is the art of sliding sideways. Let me give you some background to drifting. Drifting was created in Japan by a race car driver who had too much sake during lunchtime, so he couldn't drive in a straight line. Becoming a drifting master will require patience and determination. The next time we see each other, you will be a drifting master. Now go forth and hit walls, I mean drift. So the controls are pretty simple here, and uh, this layout, this isometric view, um, is uh, pretty familiar too. Okay, so it's actually not showing me uh, the Xbox controller, but I think I got it. Gently turn, then counter steer. Oh my god. Spinning out, use less throttle. Choose the difficulty. Uh, I think I'm going to start with medium. Okay. I know it, it may not be easy to tell from the video. This is... I don't, I don't know how to describe it. This is extremely accurate, is all I can say. Like, in terms of just driving around. Like, the counter-steering aspect of it. It feels amazing. Like, it, it's such a, a simple concept for a game. But it's, it's very hard, and it's very realistic. Uh, nine more times. So I have to, like, swerve in and out of there? Is that what I'm trying to do? Or they want me to kind of drift... Drift through it. I'm, like, gonna destroy my car. Now, I haven't... I, that was my normal brake. I also have a handbrake. Oh, I'm supposed to... I'm, oh, I'm supposed to drift into these. Okay, let me, let me get some speed. Oh my god, this is really difficult. And now I'm on medium. Uh, I'm not even on hard. There we go, let's turn this sucker around. And blast it! There were games, uh, that kind of, uh, felt like this, even back on, uh, like the NES. There we go. Alright, clipping point. Alright, drift close to the poles. Eee! Man, it's, it's so easy to spin out. And, like, you give it a certain amount of throttle, too. So you have to be very, very careful whenever you're going around these around these poles. See see how easy it is? Jeez. All right, so let's, um, let's not take out the poles. Let's get close to the poles. Go around this way. Yee! Man! Now, if that would have been a parking space, that would have been really impressive. Jeez. I'm trying to still get a feel for everything here. Okay, let's go back this way. Okay, and let's and let's I'm gonna let off the throttle a little bit. There we go. Oh, I still I still ended up hitting my uh, my tail in there. Okay. Oh God. I'm just trying to like be very very gentle with the gas right now. Oh, extra 900. See, so you get points for drifting. And right now, I'm, I'm just in free room to help me get uh, get this down. Drift tracked. Uh, 
Hamamatsu. Alright, uh, yeah, let's go for it. Tip, counter steer more if you're spinning out. But let's get started here. So let's turn sharp. Okay, so I spin out, so I need to counter steer more. Alright. I'm just kind of gassing it right now. Eee, I'm gonna have to tip break before corners. Alright. So it's it's super realistic. This this game is really um kind of set at someone who is really, really interested in uh, a super, like, hyper-realistic drifting experience. <sighs> I, was, I was starting to do pretty good there, but then I lost it again. Like, the physics in this game, it's unreal, and it's one of those things that's very sadly probably not going to completely come across in video form, which is a shame. Uh, I know that they have been at PAX before. If you guys, uh, if you guys get a chance to see Absolute Drift at a, a future... Uh, convention, please stop by and try it so you can understand exactly what I'm saying. Interesting. All right, uh, let me hit finish. See what other events there are. World 1 1, zero of six missions complete. Tutorial drift, six missions left. So I'm now in a, in a world. Drift between both containers. Did I get it? Mission one of six. Uh, okay, there's like, I don't know if that's supposed to be a health kit or not. Drift between the lamp and the hangar? Okay. Jump over the plane. Okay, let's hit the brakes. There we go. Oh, no, it's still spinning out a little bit. All right, let's gas it so we can jump this plane. Oh, I love I love the uh, the sound effects there. Very, very cool. It looked like the, um, uh, the, the game made it kind of automatic, the car automatically spin. I'm starting to get a, I'm starting to get a feel for for the drifting. It's still extremely difficult. All right, let's uh No, oh, no. Oh, I I got credit for it, but I, I started it a little too early. And there's another mission around here. Oh, okay. Oops. See, if you can if you can drift, you could keep your speed up so you could actually um get off that ramp. So I'm just trying to Oh man. And you gotta be careful, even with the analog stick, because it's like a real, um... It's like a real, uh, a real steering wheel, because if you turn a, a steering wheel too far, like, you're going to oversteer and you're gonna be, you're, you're gonna be in trouble. And that's, it's the same way it is here, because you just instinctively want to push the, the stick all the way to one side. But when you do that, you're actually, you're, you're pushing the car really hard. That's so hard. I wanted to get off that ramp, and now I'm having trouble doing so. I think I'm just gonna go off the ramp and see what happens. Without trying to get, like, a running start or anything. Oh! I was trying to get up there on top! Did I- Oh no, what happened? I pressed A, and everything went- went, uh... Back to normal. There we go. Am I going? Okay, uh... Paint! So I can actually get a different color car, which is nice. Super! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, I still ended up hitting the thing. Oh, that's cool! That is cool. I thought it was just gonna be a solid color. Let's go back through. I'm- I'm really aiming for, uh, a green car. I bet you guys couldn't guess. Careful! Although, that's pretty nice, too. I gotta- I just, I'm still trying to figure out the drifting thing. Be very careful with it. There's orange. Hit the hit the, hit the brakes. I'm going back. <laughs> I guess you could, in theory, kind of go around in a circle here. I mean, it is about drift. There we go. There we go. That's a good drift. I think I'm just going to keep this so I don't have to keep going back and forth. Uh, drift track Kobe. So there's another... Now I'm stuck on a plane. It's nice that they give you this little place where you can kind of just explore, though. Alright, drift track Kobe, and then I also opened up a, a new area, right? I, I want to go on that drift track for sure, but there was- I also opened up this, didn't I? One mission left. Uh, was there a random mission in here, or is that taking on that drift track Kobe? I think maybe it was- it was Kobe! Alright, let's go ahead and head over there now. Careful, 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 careful. There we go. Counter steer, counter steer. Ugh. 
It's interesting, though, because now that I've played it, I had seen a few videos of the game beforehand, and it's insane how good people are. Now that I realize how difficult it is to play yourself. Alright, so now we're on a new drift track. A little too much, a little too much. Spinning out. It's one of those uh, situations where, you know, obviously it's simple and the art style is simple. But, like, it's a game that does one thing, but does it extremely well. Okay, careful. No, 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 no! Drift! Too much drift! <laughs> oh my lord, I... <laughs> Like, I didn't think I was going to be quite this bad at it, but it's, it is actually exceptionally difficult. There we go. That's a little drift. So much counter-steering. That little noise, I believe, is just letting you know that you, uh, that your, your combo meter or whatever is, is disappearing. There we go. That's a, that's a drift. I'm, I'm now spinning out because I can't get enough traction to get out of here. Careful! Oh, shoot! Dang it. Alright, turn the car around. Man, this is, uh... This is so difficult. There you go. Okay, all right, all right, nice, but... Uh, the handbrake does not really help you drift... ...if you're not already, like, hitting a direction. There we go, drift in! Finished with 85,000 points. Still blown away by how, uh, how difficult this truly is. I'm sure that you, you get the hang of it, and certainly just in the in the 10 minutes or so that I've played, um, I've gotten a little better, but man. I'm still missing a, um, a mission. Careful. Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, so there's something in here that I, I didn't see, so I need to figure out where it is. Of course, there was a bridge. I wonder if I'm supposed to go over the bridge. Oh, snap! Okay, I missed it, but I can reverse. So I figured out that the last mission was actually to collect all those little helicopter-looking things. And that's how I unlock it. So now I know! I also, uh, drove through the paint thing a few more times and my- my car became green. I'm still trying to get the drifting down. But, um, I'm doing a little better at it, I think? A little tiny bit? Just being able to, like, drive around is- is helping, uh, a little bit. So, drift- Drift Kana. I'm not really sure what this is, but it is another tutorial that we must get through. Clipping point. Drift near the poles. Yo, God! Drift two more times. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go in. Let's go in for the big one here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I was trying to get that last one. I was right there. Oh, it gave it to me. Handbrake near the poles. Spin inside this box. Slow down, tap the handbrake, and spin while full throttle. Okay. So... So, slow down, tap the handbrake, and spin while full throttle. Alright. Here goes something. There we go. I got my- I got my spin on. Now let's- let's go back in here. Uh, let's slam on the handbrake here. And then... Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh! <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> There's a lot of different things you can do. Which is, uh, which is cool. Oh god, no, 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 no. I don't want to hit stuff. Uh, drift around the circles. Drift around the circle, look where you want to go. Okay, alright. Alright, I'm gonna attempt to dr- Oh, and if you hit it, you have to start over. Man. Holy crap. Oh, and you get your time, too. You have 44 seconds. Oh, man. This is... Okay, so I probably need to do less gas. Right? Is that what I need to... There... There we go. There we go. Okay. So that's one. But I gotta do the other one, too. Oh, jeez. There we go. In nice and close to it. Careful, careful. If I get too close, I have to start over. There we are. Open that door. Dang. Wow. Really impressed. 
Game mode, two minute score attack, points for drifting, points for clipping points, spins and donuts. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Also, I don't know why, but this some in some strange way reminds me of Uniracers, which obviously I know it's not it's not exactly the same, but uh, that that style of game. Alright, so I can can get some points for doing a donut here if I can get around the stupid thing. Okay, let's get around. There we go. Oh, jeez. And your time, so you gotta hurry. Yeah, let's let's do a spin here. Let's do a spin. Come on, let's get in there. There we go. Got some points for that. Hit this stuff. See if we can get in the... Oh! Yeah, that's not good. There we go. Let's go around the other way and get the, get the point. Oh, shoot. I hit it. It's real easy. It's it's real easy. And the thing that I keep having issues with is that you you what it's best if you are not doing full throttle all the time. Um that is very difficult to kind of train yourself to, you know, not do that. And then at the same time also um the counter steering element is very difficult as well. Like you have to be telling yourself to not mess that up. All right, I can get this. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to get it. A little bit. A little bit at a time. They want me to uh, attempt to maybe, like, drift around these things. Which is hard to do. Dang. Okay, I'm trying to get the handbrake thing down. The handbrake just immediately whips you around. There. <laughs> I got some points for that. Shoot. There we are. I'm doing pretty good on score, I think. I'm sure in a minute it'll be like, and you did really bad. But it made me feel good. Alright, time zero. 220,000 points. Is that good? Is it okay? Did I do alright? Top 45%. Okay, well that, that makes me feel better. At least. That's good. So, World 1, all missions... Okay, so I did Free Roam, but it turns out that, um... Free Roam is actually kind of, uh, a, a campaign in and of itself. So, I, I finished World 1, and now I've, I'm off to World 2. That was cool. That was cool. That was... I mean, I'm not... I'm not an expert. And I can't say I did that on my, on my own. But it looked cool. Land that thing. Land that thing. Yes! Also, I really like how the scribbles um, for my tire tracks are even in the air, and that you can kind of see they're they're entirely 3D there. It's just really, really neat. Spin under the crane. All right. So in order to spin, I need to, I need to slow down. I need to tap the handbrake. Oh god, it's hard. All right. So I. It's so hard to get to get that started. What if I just, what if I hold the, the brake and the gas, and then let go? There we go. So this is just another set of, of missions that you have to, uh, to complete. There's various things you gotta do. The super. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go in here and find out what the super is. What is the super? Oh, it's a different car! Oh, I have a new car. I see, I didn't even think about that element of it, but that also makes sense. You could also, you know, have different versions of, of vehicles. Uh, Drifkana Sendai. Jump over the water. I could probably jump over the water with relative ease. I'm, I'm, there we go. I got that drift under control. There you go. Just got to make sure you get, get that counter steering down. Drink milk. There we go. I turned a little more than I wanted to turn. Hit the gas. Oh, I'm going. I am going. I'm going to the other ramp. Almost. Oh, my poor car. It's fine. It's fine. It's like it never even happened. Uh, drift under the crane. I'm going to I'm going to take care of a few of these missions and then um, see what else is uh, on the table here in absolute drift. So I've taken care of uh, most of the missions at this point, and I figured I would uh, I'd go check out Drift Track 
uh, Yokohama because it looks like a really interesting shape. And uh, probably end the video with this then. Uh, the game is pretty interesting, and uh, I didn't know that Free Roam was going to be a campaign. I mean, it, I understand that it's Free Roam, but it's also use it's using that opportunity to teach you. Ah, oh, I really gotta go not as fast. Okay, there we go. Encounter steer. The counter steering kills me, man, because you're you're planning on going around a a, a turn. And then you don't there. That was a that was a pretty good counter steer, except for the fact that I ran into the wall. Okay. You I. It's so easy to counter. Whoa whoa whoa! I'm going the right direction. It's so easy to counter steer um, too late. You know you're you're so focused on on trying to get the uh, the the drift started, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh I'm I'm <laughs> I'm already you know spinning out. <laughs> That was that one was pretty good. I mean, I'm hitting walls and stuff, but it's hard, man. It's so hard when you slam into a wall that kills your uh, that kills your combo. Yeah, I got, I got some points for that, man. It really uh, ramps up in difficulty. Uh, this game has been out since uh, mid to late July, I think. So I'd be really curious to see if uh, any of oh that was good too. I hit two things at once. I'd be really curious to see if any of you guys have um, had a chance to play it and also master it. I mean, is there anyone that's that's gotten really, really good at it? Because uh, it's it's one of those games that the concept is is pretty easy to understand, but it, it, you could you could play this for a long time and uh, still not be able to master it. Count here. Jeez. Get my car turned around here, and I am using that newer car, that super. I'm, now I'm just trying to basically barely hit the turn and then uh, like start counter -tank. Like I just I just want to get my my oh that doesn't sound good. I just want to get my drift started and then immediately see that that one once again was pretty good. But I'm still slamming into the walls and it's because I'm going too fast. So you actually need to lower the uh, the throttle a little bit. Did not do so hot there, which is a shame. But I gave her the shot. Uh, anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a game that you'd like to see on a future First 20 episode, then let me know down in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time for more Steven Plays First 20. Jeez, I'm all over the place. I'm going to hit this last this last ramp, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I drifted a little at the end there, and it made it look really cool. Except for whenever I landed on my nose. Oh, am I going to make it over? I almost did.